As artists, we sometimes get really rigid and tight with our artwork, which leads to overworked paintings that can become dull and lifeless. Usually, this is because we overthought our work and underfelt it. And yes, painting does require some logical process, but you also have to have fun. In this video, I'm breaking down five useful tips to help you loosen up your painting style, get back in the studio, and creating art freely. Make sure you watch to the end of the video to get all the tips and tricks, and I've also thrown in a free resource for you guys as well. And in an effort to appreciate your time, I've included timestamps below, so feel free to jump around within the video if you need to. Let's get right to it. Number one, limit your palette. Keeping your palette relatively simple is a great way to let go and focus more on other elements of your work, like different shapes, composition, certain values, and not so much on color. This is a practice that I still use today while I'm either painting or even during painting warm-ups. Even as Leonardo da Vinci said, simplicity is the highest form of sophistication. Being able to constraint your creativity into either limited palettes or limited materials can really help expand some of your imagination. And you might be quite surprised with some of the work that you create and your ability to loosen up your style and just have fun with it. Number two, paint fast. A big part of loosening up in the studio is learning how to paint really quickly. This is important because you're painting without any second guesses when you're moving with speed. There's a favorite saying that I love and it's tacked up in my studio and it says success loves speed. And it's so true. As it pertains to art, we're going for more heart and less head. So more of what you're feeling and less of what you're thinking necessarily. And the best way to do that is to really be in the zone and paint as fast as possible. When you're creating work more from your head, you kind of get lost in that and you take your time and you start to analyze. Whereas on the other side of that, when you're creating more from your heart, it's really fluid. Those works tend to happen really freely and you don't overanalyze. Painting fast and not overanalyzing helps keep you in the flow of things and really helps loosen you up for creating art. And if you're not quite comfortable fully adopting a really open paint style where everything is loosey-goosey, that's okay. There's some really great exercises you can do, such as setting a time limit. So maybe you only lock in 10 minutes a day to just not think about anything. You're painting with whatever colors, whatever materials, anything that just kind of comes to you in the studio you are just taking that and running with it. You could do two minutes, you could even do five minutes. Whatever feels most natural to you, start there and start to kind of build that muscle of learning how to let go. Number three, accept change. Everything in the studio, like life, is not gonna go according to plan. Staying flexible and keeping an open mind and accepting the change that comes your way is really important. If a painting has a different plan than you maybe originally thought for it, or planned for, sometimes you just have to go with it and see where that may lead you. Remember, we're trying to loosen up our painting style here. So really try to resist the urge to control every aspect of your work. Really learn to go with the flow and allow yourself to embrace any unwanted changes that may come your way throughout this process. Sometimes these works sort of create themselves or materials like to spill all over that one piece that we've been working on forever and we think, oh my God, this is ruined. Sometimes you have to ask yourself, okay, this is super frustrating that this happened, but how can I kind of take a moment and think about how I could make this a positive for me and my work? What can I learn from this? Um, how can I use this to maybe move the piece in a different direction? So always keeping yourself on your toes and be willing to accept the change that may come. Pressure can really create beautiful works of art, but also so can remaining calm and being able to pivot when things don't go according to plan. Number four, paint what you feel. Art by nature is a selfish endeavor. I personally paint for self-expression and my mental health. I truly believe that art heals. And for me, it's really, really, really important for me to show up for my creative practice, just for my mental health and just my well-being as a human. If somebody tends to resonate with my work and they like my work, that's just icing on the cake for me. Don't get caught up in painting what sells. I know a lot of artists play this game and it can be really tricky. Don't paint something just because you know it's gonna sell. Paint what you want to paint and paint what you feel. I promise you it's going to be a better painting 
because you genuinely enjoyed either the subject matter, the process, the colors, whatever it may be, you had fun doing the work and creating the art and people are gonna see that. A lot of times when people see my work, they say, you seem like you have a lot of fun painting this or I can tell by the strokes and the movement in your work, you really enjoyed creating this piece. You know, what music were you listening to or were you in a happy place? That's very important and people can tell that. So make sure you're painting what you enjoy and what you feel. And I know for some people this might be a little bit terrifying, but you just have to ask yourself, what is the worst that could happen? Paint what you feel, rinse, repeat. I promise you won't regret it. It's okay if your style changes. If three months out of the year, you really enjoy painting miniature abstracts, and something changes and you want to migrate into landscape abstracts or whatever it may be, accept that and keep painting whatever it is that compels you. There are no rules here, so paint what you feel and make sure that you're free in your art. The last tip I can give in helping you loosen up your painting style is focus on the process. Let go of the results. I really encourage you to be less precious and more productive. Keeping yourself in the moment and producing a ton of work once you're kind of in that flow state is one of the best ways to loosen up your painting style. That flow state is that moment where time just kind of disappears and you know five minutes becomes three hours and you're just making a ton of work. So whether you're painting something that you absolutely hate or you're painting something that you absolutely love, just keep creating and stay in the flow and keep working through that. It's really quite a magical thing. I think that you'll be really impressed with a lot of the final works of art that you create when you think more about the process and really enjoying mixing your paints and applying them to the canvas than you are being stressed out over whether you made a right or a wrong stroke or picked you know, too dark of a shade of blue versus too light of a shade. Just relax and hey, worst case scenario, you hate the painting in the end, you can always paint over it or change it down the road. I've put a really awesome free ebook resource that goes over five additional tips that can help you in loosening up your art style that were not covered in this video. So if you found this video useful, be sure to check out the free resource as well.